Hello friends, this is Thaddeus from Going Nerdy, and as you may or may not know, the Separatists are getting a rework. I don't, it doesn't, hasn't been covered a lot lately, it's, it's really been one of those under wraps kind of things. I don't think CG really wants people to know that the Separatists are getting a rework, or specifically the Droid Separatists are getting a rework. So, for that, with all of that, it makes me think they're hiding something. What are they hiding? Now that's what this video is going to be about. Now I will, I will briefly go over uh, essentially what the kits look like. I, I won't spend a lot of time with them. You guys can check them out for yourselves. They do look really interesting, and and obviously sarcasm aside, the separatists do the separatist droids do look pretty phenomenal. I am excited to see where this goes. Now we saw Grievous uh, on on Tuesday, which was or on Monday. I'm sorry. And and one, it was really cool. I think that Arnold was able to get the exclusive on that because he's been one that's been pushing Grievous for a long time. That being said, I gotta say, guys, I've wanted Hondo Onaka for the longest effing time, and I I don't want to toot my own horn. But, but I, I really want Hondo coming to the game. And if I need to create a rap music video to get him into the game, I'll do it. Now, now don't be blind to this amazing business opportunity. Oh, sorry. More likely I'd create a country music video, which would not go over nearly as well as any other video. Like it'd probably get less views than all of my current stuff. I love country music, guys, I really do. Are the Twain Guinness with country music set to a song, the beats about Hondo, you know, maybe set to the tune of, oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam? Like, oh, give me a scoundrel where the, I don't, I don't have anything. I really don't. And hence why I don't make music videos. But I am excited about this because Grievous looks phenomenal. I think it was a classy move to give Arnold the, the moment. And I'm just saying, if and when we get Onaka coming to the game, uh, I, I'd like an exclusive. Not sure I'll ever get it, but it would be freaking awesome. Grievous looks great. I'm I'm kind of shocked that he didn't. He only has two Zetas on him. That's I think real. I think good. I think more and more Zetas become <laughs> more and more. Uh, overpowered, and I think with the team that he has now, with with the rework, the kit that he has now, I think he looks phenomenal. Magna Guard actually looks really cool. I like that the droids are now giving target lock on everyone. This is the greatest thing since sliced bread. And let's face it, guys, who doesn't like sliced bread? I don't know a thing. I mean, even if you have that uh, that disease, the the gluten thing, the gluten intolerance, whatever that is, right? You still like sliced bread. I mean, you just can't eat it or, you know, your stomach explodes. I don't actually know what happens. But... Sorry I'm late. I was rounding up all the gluten in the world and launching into space where it can't not hurt us. It's delicious. We all love it. And it's really cool that we're getting this, this target lock ability kind of thrown on all droids. And I think that that's going to be one of the next you know, DOT damage over time type things. And I think we're going to be seeing more and more of it as more and more droids come to the game. I definitely think HK will probably have something like that. It just makes sense. Uh, Droidica, I think Droidica looks really cool. I'm glad that they didn't, that they put that, that damage immunity on him. I think that's awesome because Droidica was, wasn't able to be damaged except by very particular ways. And I also like that it can't be copied because can you imagine damage immunity being copied by, I don't know, a Yoda and given to everyone? It would just, it'd be infuriating. It would be absolutely infuriating on both sides. But I'm glad that that didn't happen. These kits look pretty cool. I'm really excited to try them out. I'm really excited to play. But the question I have is, what's next, right? Now, we are getting close to the end of the month. February is, is ending just around the corner. We've all recovered from Valentine's Day or, or, or whatever holiday you celebrate, a single awareness day if, if you are 
a single person, whatever. But typically this has been the month of Sith. Now they say, you know, they put that major caveat, this is the month of dark side. It isn't the month of Sith. I still think we could see something around the corner. The one thing that makes me think that Sith still could be coming, even though they have flat out said, that's not happening, is misdirection. What great way to, to misdirect an entire group of people than by changing not only the focus of saying, oh, hey, we're not giving you Sith, but here's some dark side droids. Not just droids, but droids from an entirely different era. Misdirection. You're looking one way, boom, they drop a Sith or a rework, hopefully HK-47. I don't know. That is a great way to misdirect. They do that all the time. They say, hey, here are these characters. Here's Chewbacca. Boom, the dude who came after Chewbacca, which was not Chewbacca related. That's right, Darth Revan. I forgot his name for a second. Give us C-3PO. Give us give us these characters. Give us these, these new bounty hunters and be like, oh, hey, something else is coming. And they hint about stuff and boom, Chewbacca. Now, granted, you needed bounty hunter characters for Chewbacca. It makes a ton of sense. But if you think about it, they actually introduced all of those bounty hunters back in April of last year. They told us we were getting them. They're like, hey, here we go. This is all the crap that you can expect. And they gave us that big picture. It wasn't Greedo. It was uh, the other green one, uh, Bosk. They're like, ooh, Bosk is coming. He's going to be awesome. He's going to be great. And Bosk is pretty great on the bounty hunter team. He's, he's a great character. But months later, boom. We needed all the bounty hunters for Chewbacca. So what are we thinking? I'm thinking that we're, we're being introduced to these droids. They're saying, hey, droid reworks. Boom, four months from now, we're gonna be getting something else. And that something else I really think is either gonna be like a Padme Amidala. We could be getting a, a dark side Anakin. That's my greatest of hopes. I really want a dark side Anakin. I did a video a few months back about a, road, uh, a dark side hero's journey Anakin, which would essentially be a hero's fall Anakin. I would freaking love it. I don't rightly know, but it would be awesome. Now, the other thing, we haven't gotten what we were told we were going to be getting in December from that one little leak. Here's what I'm thinking. We're getting these characters, right? All separatists. And I've, I've, I've been wondering, where is this going? Where are they go? What are they doing with this? The mythic Rancor could have been a red herring. That's right. Mythic Rancor was a red herring. What they really were doing is they were giving us a, a name, a, a code name, Mythic Rancor, trying to get us off the scent, when really we're going to be getting a new territory battle map. That's right, my friends. And what territory battle map are we getting? Geonosis. Now, you said to me, hey, Thaddeus, you're wrong. We already have Geonosis. The H-A-A-T is on Geonosis. Well, that is where you were wrong, my friends. The H-A-T is not on Geonosis. Now, if you follow along with me, go into IMDB, look up Star Wars, Clone Wars, right? Now, don't go to the Super 2013 cartoon. Go to the one that's, and also don't go to the movie, because if you go to the movie, this isn't gonna make any sense. Go to season one. The first episode of season one. Now, this is obviously isn't in chronological order, but it's called Ambush. And this is where Yoda and the, the uh, troopers, the clone troopers, they're getting together. And Yoda has that really cool moment where he's like, in the force, we are all different. Each of you is unique. Each, what, it's really, it's kind of neat. I really like the episode. That has everything that we're looking at. It has uh, the tank. It has rocket droids. It has Asajj Ventress, which she is in here. It kind of has Dooku, and it kind of has other things. But essentially, guys, it is it is the HAAT ambush. It is the tank raid. That does not take place on Geonosis. That takes place on a moon 
called Rugosa, which I'm fairly confident is how you pronounce it. Rugosa is an entirely different planet than Geonosis. What I'm thinking, territory battle map, Geonosis. We're going to be getting some reworks, hence Mace Windu. I think that it's no 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 coincidence that they gave us a Mace Windu like territory battle bonus. They want to see what we like about him. They're testing the waters out. Imagine a Mace Windu with that kind of crap. I think it's going to be really cool. I think it's happening. What do you think? Leave a comment in the section below. It is very possible that something is coming around the corner that either has nothing to do with the Separatist, hence the Sith, hence something else, or something around the corner like a territory battle map. It is very possible. I think it's on its way. I am excited. But what do you think? What do you think of the new kits? Are you farming them? Are you going to be farming them? Are you going to be working with them? I I like the Separatist. I've got my Grievous up to gear 12. The rest of them, I'm going to be kind of gearing up. B2 is the only one that I'm really worried about. I, he's one that I want to get up. I'm not going to be spending additional money on B1, although I really like his kit and I really like the way that he's done. Magna Guard, I do have him to gear 12, or I, I do have him to level 7, so 7 star. I have him 85. I don't know if I want to get him up to gear 12 just yet. He's one that I might, but I do think that we might get some Jedi reworks. I do think we might get some Galactic Republic characters, i.e. Padme Amidala. She should be around the corner. What do you think, guys? Now, leave a comment in the section below. Like, subscribe, share. This has been... Th visit us on Discord and Twitter and Instagram. Follow us on goingnerdy.com where I talk about more stuff than just Star Wars Galaxy Heroes. I do movie reviews, book reviews, other junk like that. Leave a comment in the section below. Like, subscribe, share. This has been Thaddeus from Going Nerdy. And this has been a special conspiracy episode where we have gone into the depths of what might be coming. And as always, my friends, smile and stay nerdy. Oh, <laughs>